At least 62 people have been arrested and five injured in what police described as deliberate attacks on fans of the football club Maccabi Tel Aviv in Amsterdam. The violence came after fans of the Israeli side tore down Palestinian flags and chanted racist slogans ahead of a match in Amsterdam. Steph Vassen reports from the Dutch capital. After a violent night in Amsterdam, Israeli football fans are taken to the airport by Jewish volunteers. We don't trust on the Dutch people. Why don't you trust them? Because what we, have to, what we have been to yesterday, it's not something that we have in Israel. With the Palestinians in Israel, we don't have what we have to do. To, to, to. They were some of the thousands of supporters of Maccabi Tel Aviv who had gathered in the Dutch capital for the match against Ajax. <laughs> Many were seen ripping down Palestinian flags and chanting racist slogans. <laughs> Outraged by the racist incitement, dozens turned out on the streets and battled with Israeli football fans and police following the match. Dozens were injured. The Amsterdam mayor strongly condemned what she described as anti-Semitic riots. She didn't condemn the actions of the Israeli fans. I have a question about the context because this didn't happen out of the blue uh, last night after the match. Uh, you already described there was a Palestinian flag uh, burned, there was one taken off a uh, building. Uh, there were uh, songs canted by the Maccabi fans also uh, very much insulting to uh, Arabic people. Uh, so there was a whole context that led up to the events which of course are very deplorable which happened last night and you're not describing this context. Uh, the Maccabi fans were also taking their part. I interviewed just one of them before I came here and he also called it, yeah, we had, we did some provocations, yes. So he admitted that. So that part of the story is also not being, being told. Let me um, say that we did describe the context. I described it in general terms and um, our commissioner described what happened on um, uh, Thursday, Wednesday night, um, uh, before everything erupted. But I want to make clear, we are used um, in Amsterdam that there can be tensions. There are many demonstrations and protests, and we are always prepared for them. And of course, they are related to the situation in the Middle East and the ongoing war in Israel and Pal Palestine. But what happened last night it's not a protest. It has nothing to do with protest or demonstration. It was crime. Israeli leaders were quick to compare the violence with the Holocaust and October 7. The Israeli foreign minister even traveled to the Netherlands saying upon arrival that Amsterdam is not safe for Jews. Authorities in both the Netherlands and Israel have been quick to describe last night's riots as anti-Semitic without giving much context to what happened leading up to Israeli football supporters being attacked. Some say it's created a dangerous narrative and fear more anti-Muslim and anti-immigration rhetoric. Principal emotions is ignited by the genocide that Israel is committing. So it's an opposition to that. And Sorry to say, but the Maccabi Tel Aviv supporters put themselves in that context by attacking Palestinian symbols and saying racist slurs about Palestinians. While most Israeli football fans have left the Netherlands, the Dutch government says it will do all it can to welcome them back safely. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam. The Palestine Football Association has released a statement saying it is gravely concerned by the sequence of violent events in Amsterdam, starting with the deplorable incitement to violence, anti-Palestinian racism and Islamophobia expressed by Maccabi Tel Aviv fans who also attacked homes and shops displaying the Palestinian flag. The PFA had presented FIFA with extensive evidence of such hateful expressions, yet concrete action remains lacking. They go on to call on UEFA and FIFA to address the normalization of genocidal, racist and Islamophobic rhetoric among Israeli football supporters and to implement concrete measures to combat this hostility. Let's bring in Jay Rolls, who lives in Amsterdam and witnessed some of the violence over the past few days. Good to have you with us. So let's start of all, Jay, with 
what, what you saw with about how this started. How did, it, did the tensions first begin? Well, um, so I live near the center and I'm in the center every day. Um, and ever since uh, the supporters uh, started arriving around Tuesday, we've had um, constant unrest in the center. There's been chanting from Maccabi supporters. Uh, they've been, uh, you know, making graffiti, sticking all kinds of very hateful stickers on all kinds of surfaces. Um, you've all seen the video of them tearing down a flag that was around the corner. Um, you know, I've heard fireworks for the last two nights. Um, and yeah, I've never seen the police do anything about it. So um, yeah, it's been very a lot of unrest in the city center. All right, so for the past few so, days. So you, you saw the Maccabee Tel Aviv Israeli football club fans um, engaging in that kind of activity, and we, we you referred to the videos of them tearing down Palestinian flags. Did you understand some of the chants? I understand you, you understand some Hebrew, and you understood a some of the bit, chants. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I, my Hebrew is very spotty, and my family is Jewish, but I've never uh, been very good at Hebrew. But uh, yeah, that's, I mean, also a chance in English, not just Hebrew, but they were, you know, chanting, you know, like basically kill Arabs, um, you know, uh, de like the promoting the death of children, uh, that kind of stuff. They were just uh, yelling stuff at passersby. Um, uh, my friend, who was on her way to work in the morning on Wednesday, got uh, her her scarf was pulled off and she fell off her bike. Um, so yeah, I've just noticed. So, uh, so as Jay, I said, what, just what, general aggression. What from the did the police do? I mean, there's a situation which you're describing in which you have uh, groups of of people uh, trying to drag, physically attack, assault. Your friend, people on, on bikes, rip down flags, chant death to Arabs, uh, chant things related to killing of children. What were the police doing at that point? Were they trying to restrain these Maccabee uh, Tel Aviv fans? Um, it seemed that there was very little police uh, around the city centre in general the last few days. There were some, um, but they basically just stood by and watched most of the time. I didn't see them. Uh, intervene at any point. Um, as I said, there was also like fireworks that were going off and stuff. I don't know even how they got them. I doubt you can take them on a plane here. Um, but yeah, very little. Uh, nothing was really done by the police. Uh, also, they could have just called off the match because people were warning uh, for this uh, beforehand or told the supporters not to come. But uh, it seemed like the city has done nothing to protect the, the residents of Amsterdam. Okay, and then Following that, from what we understood, there were then attacks on the Maccabee Tel Aviv fans. Did the, those attacks and those groups seem organized or, or spontaneous to you? Uh, I didn't see uh, a lot of it. I was around the center on midnight uh, yesterday. I saw like pushing and shoving and pulling. It kind of went both ways. Things were being yelled and then, you know, people would run one way, run the other way and scatter. Um, but it didn't seem particularly organized. Uh, there were just a bunch of people on the streets, just in small groups and stuff. Uh, mainly like groups of five, like 10 max, just walking around like the area. Right. All right. Thank you, uh, Jay, for coming and sharing your first-hand account and witnessing of what happened there. We, uh, yes, of we course. wish a, a peaceful night for you and everyone.